Because think about it, a lot of us grew up out of single parent homes, right? A lot of baby mamas in the black community, single moms, baby moms, whatever you want to call them. There ain't no man in the house is what I'm saying. Where the man at? They don't have God's laws. Am, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. It says he became the progenitor. What's your name? What is it? DZ? I'm Bartimaeus. Progenitor. You know, you know what that word means? Progenitor means the father of. So the scholars know who each nation on the planet are. We don't. Black people don't know who they are. But the scholars, they know who these people are. And these people have their records. We don't have our records. We thought we didn't have our records, but God brought the spirits, his spirit on our people, just like our brother was reading according to the scriptures, and showing now who we are in these last days. So he says, this is a father. Ham is a father of, come on. He became the progenitor of the dark races, uh -huh. not the Negro. Just, just like we was reading right now. So the scholars know there's a difference between black people. You see that? A lot of people say, hey, we'll go to Africa. The Africans, though, were not them. That's why when we read here, it's going to tell us who the Ham, who's his children. Come on. But the Egyptians. The Egyptians that had us in captivity. Okay, come on. Ethiopians. The Ethiopians. Libyans. The Libyans. And Canaanites. And Canaanites. All our people right here. Where's the map at? Where's my map at? We got the map out here? Where's my map at? I don't know if we got it out here. But when you see the map of Africa, right, our people know where we are, we're the Israelites. Israel is in Africa. Our people always knew amongst these nations who we were and who we're not. But today, they say, hey, you're African. Go back to Africa. You ever heard that before? Why would they tell us to go back to Africa? You see what I'm saying? We got the map on? Oh, that's fine. So you see, the world knows who these people are. See here, we got all these different nations. All these different nations right here. We got the map right here. This is Africa. So Israel is in Africa. But now, let me ask you this. You go, brother. You can put it down. So now knowing all this, what do you think is the advantage of knowing all this stuff? That you've been, I know you've been here for a little bit. What's the advantage of knowing all this stuff? Of knowing who you are? Is there a value of knowing who you are? What, what do you get out of knowing who you are? Yeah. Because I'll ask you this. Do you, What's your nationality, according to the Bible? Right. What's that? You're spiritual, okay, but what nation do you come from? Because we see, we know who we're not, but you got to know who you are, though. All right, let's go. Because then we... Go ahead and look at the sign right here. Well, yeah, what's your nationality, according to the Bible? What do you see yourself on this sign right here? All right, what's, what is it? Who's your father? Where's your father from? African black, I mean, African American. Yeah. African American. So according to the Bible, the word African American ain't in here, right? But Judah is. Okay? Give me that. Judah means God's praise. You can put it down. All right, so the 12 tribes of Israel, we know... Mexican, we know Haitian, we know African American, we know all that stuff. But we don't know that we're Judah, right? We don't know Issachar, we don't know none of that stuff. And the problem is, in America, everything we celebrate comes with somebody else's heritage. That's right. You see that? Everything we celebrate comes from the white man's heritage. Right. Thanksgiving just came, ain't it? You celebrate Thanksgiving? Okay. Do black people celebrate Thanksgiving though? Yes. That's the white man's heritage. Right. Right? The same white man that's killing us in the street, destroying our communities, we're celebrating Thanksgiving with them. And we're trying to make it as if we can tell what Thanksgiving is. Thanksgiving ain't what we think it is. It's what it is. Right. So you got to know you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You got that for me? Okay. Give me Hebrews 7. Watch this. Watch the importance of knowing that. Come on. 
The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Read it out. Four. It is evident. That it says, we have evidence. If somebody comes to you and say, I got evidence on you, D's, what they got? <laughs> what they got? Proof, right? They say, hey, I know you did it, and I got evidence you did it. I got the, I got the receipts. That's, the Bible says, we got the receipts. Read. For it is evident Come on. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. If Jesus Christ was walking around today, he would look like you and me. So why do they give us this? Think about it. Why do they give us this when the Bible say Christ looked like us? No white hairs? Right? I've read that part in the Bible. But we grew up in religion that got this. We grew up in Baptists and all these other religions that give us this guy. To destroy us. To keep us in sin. To, to when we see, because you got to understand, behind this comes a message. 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Behind, the reason they gave us this, because our people don't get it yet. Blacks and Hispanics don't understand this. There's nothing that's done in America by coincidence. They don't set up a damn store, a wash house, a damn uh, food, a uh, laundry place by coincidence. There's studies that go into these places. You understand what I'm saying? They know how many cars go up and down this road. They know the communities that are around here. They know if I put a damn laundry machine here and I put no laundry machines in these apartments, what y'all gonna have to do? Come down here and make me my money. So it's not a, it's not a coincidence that they gave us this. And you don't know your nationality. Read. This is what's going on. Come on. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. There's going to be people that come preaching another Jesus. Because you know, what color is Christ according to the Bible? Is he a white man or a black man? According to the Bible, is he a white man or a black man? According to the Bible. You say white, right? So now, now we got to go in here. Because Jesus said, the prophets say, if somebody comes preaching another Jesus. So guess what's going to be a problem on the planet? There's going to be a problem on the planet. Let's see the warning that the prophets has given us. Come on. Whom we have not preached. Who we have not preached. That's not in this book. Come on. Or if ye receive another spirit. It says another spirit comes with that other Jesus. There's another spirit behind when you don't know the truth in the scriptures. Come on. Which ye have not received. Uh -huh. Or another gospel. Now there's another message. The gospel is a message, the good news. Now there's another message behind Jesus Christ looking like a white man with stringy hair. There's another gospel behind it. Come on. Which ye have not accepted. Come on. Ye might well bear with him. Say, don't deal with it. So give me the call of a Christ first for Revelation 1. Because remember, if you fall for the lie, you're not going to make it to the kingdom. You're going to die here in America. That's right. Remember, God has evil angels, right? So if you're disobeying God, what you think can happen? They come see about you. That's what it is. That's what we're seeing in our communities. That's why we must know our nationalities, and we must keep God's commandments. No, 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 absolutely no conditions about that. Okay? Now let's see what Jesus Christ looks like according to the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Oh, bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. And his head and his hairs were white like wool. He had white woolly hair on his head and on his face. You understand? Who has woolly hair on the planet today? You got a phone? You got a phone? Yeah, it's dead. It's dead, okay. Wool is look where well, you look like sheep's hair. Is this woolly hair right here? Woolly hair is what you got on top of your head, brother. That's woolly hair. You understand? So Christ had the same kind of hair on his head than you. It was white and woolly. Read on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. How are you saying? When you see his feet, I see you. I can see your feet right here. It says your feet, right? So if I see like, what color feet, what color your feet is, I know the rest color of your body, right? So he says that Christ's feet were the same color as brass. What color is brass? B-R-A-S-S. -S. Brown. It's a brown. All right, but it said his feet was brown. Is this brown skin right here? No, that's red skin right there. That's not brown skin. You got brown skin. Flame 
So that's talking about the white of your eyes. You see how you got a little red in there? That's it. But his, his eyes ain't blue. This is blue and white and green and all that. That's not in the Bible. Read on. So now he's saying his feet were the same color as brass, like you said. We know it. It's brown. Okay, let's see how dark it was. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. It says it's so dark it looked like you burned it on fire. Bring it out. So Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible or a white man according to the Bible? A what? A black man according to the Bible. That's right. That ain't hard. We just read it. We just read it. But remember, it says this is going to come with another message. God loves everybody. That's the message they come with. God loves everybody. Come as you are. The laws are done away with. God says you don't have to know your nationality. It doesn't matter. All these things are lies that this message, this image here comes with. You've been, you ever been to church? What, what kind of church do you used to go to? Is it Baptist, Pentecostal? Baptist, right? The Bible don't tell us to go to Baptist church. There's not a scripture in the Bible that tells black people to go to the Baptist church. That's right. There's not one that tells us to go to Catholic church. Right. There's not one that tells us to go to Pentecostal church. Right. Why do we go there? Because this came with another message. That's it. You see that? So you got to know that your savior looks like you. You got to know your nationality. Because right. remember, our names were changed here in America. We came off the slave ships. We got the pictures for that right here? Give me that. Give me that. Give me them, give me them slave ships. Turn this. Uh, let me see. Give me the transatlantic slave ships. We don't got them? All right. We're going to talk about it. Because when we came out the slave ships, we was called niggers. Niggers. I'm going to say it like that. Bunch of niggers. Then colored. Then Negro. Then now, in your lifetime, it's African American. Why our names change so much? Look all these things we went through. Human zoos and all that. You understand that? So now, let's see what our people look like in the Bible. Acts 13 and 1. You got that? All praise. All praise. Let's see what our, because we got to understand when we look at this book, we're looking at our bloodline. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Bring it out. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets uh -huh. and teachers, uh -huh. as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. They were called what? Nigger. They were called niggers. Because we always know that what our people look like in the scriptures. Jeremiah 14 and 2 now, please. We got to know when we're reading the Bible, the Bible's full of our people that are black from all different shades. Light skin to dark skin. Right. Never no white folks in the scriptures right here that was the prophets. That's right. No Arabs that were prophets. Right. Read Jeremiah 14 and verse 2. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out! Judah mourning, and the gates thereof languish. It says Judah is mourning. Remember, you are an Israelite from a tribe of Judah. It says Judah is in mourning. What is going on with African Americans right now? Living good? Life is great? What's going on? Poverty? What else? Killing? Throwing in jail. There you go. We got neighborhoods that if you were blue and I were red, we got a problem now. If we were gold or some other dumb color, all of that, that's going on in the community. But we're not together, but we're in mourning. Let's see why we're in the morning. Come on. They are black. They are what? Oh, read it from the top. Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. Let's talk about the leadership. Who is the leader of the black community now? <laughs> black people, anybody that calls himself a so-called black person, who's the leader of the black community? Kyrie stood up and said, hey, um, I'm going to try to check out this movie called uh, Hebrews and Negroes, Negroes and Hebrews, right? And the whole world went to uproar. Right. Why are they coming at Kyrie like that? He just said, click the link, check out the movie. It been on Amazon. Why are they coming at Kyrie like that? Why Ye can't say, hey, we're the 12 tribes of Israel? Because once we start knowing who we are, things start changing. That's we right. start knowing how to change, get ourselves out of these communities. Right. How to start living each other, how to start building. Right. You heard of generational wealth, right? You can't have generational wealth if I'm, I'm out here killing you. Right. We can't build, because I'm gonna I'm steal from you. I'm gonna rob you, right. and I'm gonna put it on damn TikTok, right. and Facebook Live, 
You see the problem? So God says, we have no leadership, but you're supposed to be one of the leaders of the community. That's why we're here. Right. We are the leaders of the community. That's right. By our examples, according to the word of God. Right. You understand? Read on. Let's see what color the Jews are. They are black unto the ground, says the Jews are black unto the ground. You see the ground right here, won't you? If you pick a piece of dirt, what color is that? It's brown. So we're all different shades of brown, brother. You understand? But give me Psalms 19 and 7. This is what we got to understand. That now that we have our Savior, that we know that he looks like us, and we're learning about our nationality, now our minds got to change. That's what I was showing you earlier. We're about to go. But this is what we got to understand. Our minds got to change. What's going to change our minds? The Bible. Our heritage. You understand? It's not just a book. It's your heritage. It's your birthright. God left this here for you to come back and rule your people. That's right. You got you to gotta look at it like that. You see that? And this is what's going to change your mind. Psalms 19 and 7. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws is perfect. Thou shalt not kill is perfect. Right? The communities of O Block that they just go ahead and decimate now with all the murders that was going on. What are these black people going to do now that they destroyed O Block? They're going to have to go somewhere else. Better find you somewhere to, somewhere to live. Because what were y'all doing in those communities? Destroying each other. Shooting damn drill music. Hating each other. What's going on? But if we had the laws of God, we'd be able to live perfectly. Don't kill your neighbor. Don't covet. You see that? It's simple stuff. Laws of God can change the community in real time. That's right. We don't got to wait tomorrow. We could do it today. Right. Simple says the laws of God are perfect. Come on. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. It changed your soul. Once you know, okay, I'm an Israelite, that's my brother, I can't look at him like that. I can't deal with him like any kind of way. That's my sister right here. The Bible says I can't be having no girlfriends out here. I got to make sure I build myself up and get a wife out here. That's right. Because think about it. A lot of us grew up out of single-parent homes, right? A lot of baby mamas in the black community. Single moms, baby moms, whatever you want to call them. Ain't no man in the house is what I'm saying. Where the man at? They don't have God's laws. So once we start changing our minds, then we can start changing the community. That's right. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, Come on. making wise the simple. God says if you want to be wise, you got to come to this book. Anything you do other than that, you're a simple man. Right. God talking to his people. You understand? So you got to come back to God's commandments and know that you're an Israelite and you, in order to change your life and change your community, you got to come back to God's laws, brother. That's All right. Nation. nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Nation.